Another coach speak, but it's coming after a sweep this weekend. Uh, coach David Carl at the uh, University of Denver. Let's recap. How was the weekend in your eyes? Uh, it was good. I thought Friday night was excellent. Um, you know, I thought we executed our game plan very well. Uh, we stayed, I think, level-headed and in the moment. Like, we get scored on first shift of the game. I thought we responded really well. Um, carry the play for the majority of the first period. Get it tied and then go down. Um, you know, in the last minute of the first period, and and then you know respond right away in the second period with a few quick goals to get the lead, and then not look back. I thought Magnus uh, was excellent all weekend long, uh, particularly in the second period on uh, on Friday night, and then uh, had to be sharp again at the start of the game on Saturday in the second period on Saturday. Um, getting into Saturday, I th thought our start was really slow. Um, we go into the period again down 2-1, but it felt like it could have been more than that without uh, the help of our goaltender. And But we find a way again in the second period to put four goals on the board and, um, and play a really mature third period. Been in that position before this year and uh, weren't able to execute out of Providence. And against a real potent offense like Western Michigan, it was good to be able to shut the game down and, and close out the game at 5-2 on Saturday. So you touched on it, maturity. Is that what you're seeing out of your roster right now? They're maturing every week? Yeah, starting to, um, you know, it's a work in progress. We've always felt like the group, um, you know, we have a really high ceiling and the closer we can get to it, the faster we can get there, um, the more we'll be able to string some, you know, some performances together. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're, we're seeing growth certainly um, in our team and another big step coming up this weekend against Miami, um, handling success this past weekend and then making sure that we're preparing the right way for a real hungry hockey team coming in here uh, Friday night. Two things I noticed, a young team against a very old, big, physical team. I thought you guys uh, handled it well, uh, both games. Uh, the other thing that I saw was uh, 5280 to me was the first time that I've seen that altitude take effect. Did you see that from Western or was it just my eyes? Um, yeah, maybe a little bit. I mean, it can affect opponents here and there. Um, I think a lot of it is, you know, they play a tart and enjoy you, you know, a ton. They didn't have Fulp available for them this past weekend. Um, and then Bauer goes down Saturday night. So now they're down to 5D after a tart and joy. You, you know, played a lot on Friday. And I, I thought, again, we executed our game plan really well and t ward them out. And so um, you saw it a little bit on their back end. I think it was circumstantial to, to what they had available to them. Um, but certainly we've seen teams come in here. Um, you know, and struggle with the altitude. And when we're playing fast and rolling four lines, it, it can be a handful um, for teams when we're playing Denver hockey. So when you're out recruiting now, do you start looking for Carters? You got Savoy, you got King, you got Mazer. Um, uh, a lot of success. I thought all three of them uh, have, have contributed this year, but obviously uh, uh, Savoy and Mazer uh, this weekend uh, winning uh, all conference honors as well. Yeah, certainly. I mean, uh, Sav uh, put the puck in the back of the net, did it in different ways, um, which was nice to see. He's 10 on the year and four on the weekend. And um, like I said, did them, did them in different ways, uh, power play, five on five um, and such. And then I think Carter Mazer, um, game just continues to evolve and get better as his details get better um, in his own end. He's not that their line's not spending as much time there. Um, he's hanging on to more pucks offensively. Um, which is a, really allowing him to have success as well. Okay, final thing for you. Um, Miami this weekend, I know that's who you're focused on. You get the home run, then you get uh, uh, Thanksgiving. Then guess where you're going? You're going to Oceanside. I know that's, that's not ever an easy place to play, but just your thoughts on uh, trying to get a couple of wins this weekend and uh, the weekend after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I mean, when we, uh, I don't when you look at our season, we had a first six-game segment in a bye week, and... Um, we're in the middle of the second one right now. We want to make sure that we close it off in the right way. And, um, and it really begins today and Tuesday with our preparation uh, for Miami. So that's our sole focus. Um, and then we'll enjoy the Thanksgiving week. Um, and then we'll get into it with our last four all on the road. So that'll, when that time comes, um, that'll be an opportunity for us to get back on the road and try and show some growth and maturity in that way. Coach, thanks for your time as always. Uh, have a good weekend, okay? Sounds good. Thank Happy you. Thanksgiving if I don't see you before that. Thanks, you as well.